I start off with costs and profit. A lot of students get different types of costs mixed up and lose easy marks on definition questions. So let's get this clear. A cost is something a firm spends money on. Firms need to know what the costs are so they can work out how much money is being spent. If they don't know what the costs are, they can't work out if they've made any profit. A common way of looking at costs is to look at fixed or variable costs. The difference between them is really easy. Fixed costs don't change with output and variable costs do. Fixed costs stay the same however much a firm produces. For example, a fixed cost is rent. This stays the same and has to be paid whether there's production or not. We can look at this on a chart. This will help you with understanding break-even. See how the chart shows costs going up here in contrast to output along the bottom axis. You can see that in this case, fixed costs are always £4 million, whatever the firm produces. Variable costs are different. These costs do change with output. The more a firm produces, the higher the variable costs will be. For example, materials used to make products. If a firm makes TVs, they're going to have to buy a lot more parts to make 70,000 TVs than to make 10,000 TVs. So these are variable costs which will go up. This is how variable costs would look on a chart. As you can see, you've got costs up the side and output along the bottom like before. But this time, the costs rise with output. This is because they're linked to output. If the firm wasn't producing anything, the variable costs would be zero because they wouldn't need any parts. You've also got semi-variable costs, which have a fixed part and a variable part. For example, telephone costs are semi-variable because you've got the line rental that doesn't change, and so is the fixed part. And then on the top, you've got the call charges, which go up the more you use the phone, so are the variable part. OK, so that explains the difference between different types of costs. You might also come across direct and indirect costs, so it's useful to know what they are. Direct costs can be linked to a product. For example, the raw materials used to make that product. So they're a bit like variable costs. Indirect costs, also called overheads, are costs which come from running the business as a whole, like admin costs or general marketing costs. It's harder to allocate them to a specific product, so they're a bit like fixed costs. Whilst we're talking about costs, you might also have heard of opportunity cost. It's not a cost like fixed or variable ones, but it's really relevant to businesses. Opportunity cost is the cost of what you've given up to get something else. An example really makes this easier to understand. If a business spends £50,000 on promotion, it may have to give up the opportunity of spending that money on buying new equipment. The new equipment could have made production more efficient, or they may have to give up the opportunity of spending that money on providing more staff and increasing motivation. Does that make sense? You can only spend the money once, and whatever choice you make will have consequences elsewhere in the business. It's a really good idea to look at this in the exam because it shows the examiner that you can see the wider implications of any suggestions you make. 